Welcome to the Dr. Aaron Show. May you live your truth. Live from Los Angeles, this is Dr. Aaron. We come together each day to know the truth, live on spiritual principle, and align with universal law. We also come together as a community in Soul Society, committed to being the number one spiritual leaders community in the world, committed to enlightenment, empowerment, and entrepreneurship. We truly believe that when someone awakens, they have a gift and message and to bring to the world. And we are committed to awakening a billion people across the globe by developing world class spiritual leaders. So let's do this thing, you guys. So today, we're going to talk about the cause talking about health and wellness, and the culmination of consciousness, really, the cause is the culmination of consciousness, we know it all begins in mind. Socrates said, There is no illness of the body apart from the mind. And this is so true. So reflecting back on working with clients around health, generally, I don't have people that come for to work with me around health. A lot of times they're dealing with money, relationships, and um, I used to work with a lot of addicts. So I remember one year, this is a long time ago, this was like around 2010, I was actually putting a couple of clients through a cleansing program. And one of them was actually had struggled with drugs um, throughout their life. And the other one just felt they needed to cleanse the body. And they were just kind of going through a cleansing in their life. And so they began to go through this intense um, sauna work, um, taking niacin and supplements and oils and tons of water and spending a lot of time in the sauna to sweat it out. I'm a true believer that if we want to cleanse, you know, we can begin to cleanse by uh, drinking juices whenever I prefer to do sauna work because I believe it goes out of the skin. And you don't have as much of a side effect of all the toxins going through the body. In fact, I believe that a lot of people um, can cause more damage by dislodging a lot of the toxins and having it go into their organs and things like that. So I'm a big uh, sauna person. So anyway, I was taking these two clients through uh, a sauna cleanse. And it was interesting because I witnessed one of them, the one who had done a lot of drugs, began to basically have all the drug residues come back into their body as they were doing the sauna work. And they actually began to get high while they were in the sauna. The other person who just basically wanted to cleanse his life um, noticed that, you know, he went through some side effects as well. He also noticed that his hair started growing back while he was in the sauna. There's like all these different side effects that were really fascinating. But over the course of a couple of weeks, they began to cleanse it all out and it began to really flush out. And at the end of the two weeks, they both basically both came to the realization that they felt better than they ever had in years. They felt more clear. They felt just better energy. They had mental clarity. All the, their skin looked better. Everything was better. And the point is, is that when we are awakening, it's really important that we've got to deal with whatever's going on in the body. So it's really hard to deal with people because majority of us have dealt with pesticides in our, you know, bodies or drugs or alcohol or whatever that people have tried over the course of the years. There's an intelligence and it's almost like the body wants to remember these substances and keeps it in the fat system because it's a it's easier way of dealing with it than actually having to, you know, put it through the system. So when I'm dealing with clients, ideally, it would be amazing for everyone to be able to go through a pure Pure, purification, cleansing process. Not everybody can. But I highly, highly recommend it. I've witnessed miracles, literally people growing back hair, um, just all kinds of awakening, uh, things happening, life just getting better for people through this process. So as we get into the depths of what it means to have health, have vitality, we have to recognize that it all begins in mind, it's a culmination of consciousness. But we have to understand that culmination of consciousness can outpicture into the, our environment, right? What we chose to do always began in mind. What we chose to do as a culture in our environment, as we chose to do, you know, whether we did drugs or alcohol or whatever that is. But the, we have to remember that it all began in mind. Everything begins in mind, even the environment that we choose to put ourselves in or the environment that we choose to create. So even though we do have to deal with the physicality, even though we do have to deal with that, we have to go back to the power of decision in mind. And so in this, I know that restoring harmony, restoring well-being, restoring vibrant vitality 
we have to deal with the toxins in our body. We have to deal with the toxins in our emotions and so on and so forth. You know, um, it is said that 90% of all health-related visits to the doctor are stress-related, right? So what's worse for you, a candy bar or getting upset? Not sure about that. Um, Dr. Alexander Haskell um, has a simple analogy of a scale, stating that at the birth, the scale is tipped to the right side, which represents health, and on the right side is all the natural ability of the body. And as we grow up and get more toxins from the environment and our food and our emotions, the left side of the scale begins to burden down, and we begin to get out of, out of sync, And so we have to cleanse and detox and remove those things from the left side of that scale so that we can come back into balance. There truly is an intelligence that can create miracles in the body, but we have to get out of its way. Our work as our spiritual work is not to, you know, we're already divine. We're already that intelligence. Our job as human beings is to to cleanse to get rid of the limiting beliefs to get rid of the toxins that is our work to do always so um, also having authentic life you know living in alignment with our truth and everything else is so incredibly important but so we all know this there's an intuitive factor with all this and so we know that the conscious mind the subconscious mind all comes together spiritually in what's basically considered the limbic system in that gut feeling, that vagus nerve that comes right into the the, the core of our stomach, that gut, that's why we call it the gut. There's a gut intuitive factor that supposedly links in the spiritual mind with the conscious and subconscious mind all right there. We know, we know when we're in alignment with that solar plexus. We know when we're in alignment with our truth and with um, what's best for our highest good. And so we have to tap into that at all points in time. So the question is, how do we get into the high energy? How do we get away from disease? We know that it is done through, of course, ridding the body of toxins, ridding the mind of limiting beliefs. It comes to an interesting study with Google. Google, who is a universally, you know, profound company that basically has 120 internal trainers delivering the energy project. They actually came up with what's called the energy product project. And what they found is that people need to align to their their highest vibration through being in alignment with their purpose, to being in alignment with physical emotion, mental emotion, and spiritual emotion. And you can do this by getting in alignment with your truth, basically is what Google is finding. You know, it's kind of funny, right? So we know that toxins and what's happening in our world is crazy. 41% of Americans will be diagnosed with cancer during their lifetime, and around 21% will die from cancer. Um, Research is showing now that the environment causes of cancer is really one of the primary sources, and so we have to know that we have to consciously choose to put ourselves in healthy environments. So my question for you to ponder yourself today is are you in a good environment? Are you in a healthy environment, you know, emotionally and with the food you're eating and everything else that is a choice and a a decision in mind? And so treating symptoms is great, but we really have to get to the cause. And what is the cause? The cause is always consciousness. What are you choosing to do? All dis-ease is spiritual. And so again, we've been brainwashed to this concept of that it's external. And in the book, the Bo- Bo- excuse me, biology of belief, um, Bruce Lipton uh, states that only ten percent of destiny of health is through our genes. That we literally turn on and off genes depending on again the environment that we put ourselves in. And how do we choose that? By the power of our mind. And so we have to know this universal law, this intelligence that breathes as you and me knows you know dr andrew wheel md says that one half of all adults suffer adverse effects from stress one half of adults suffer adverse effects from stress and we know that the moment that we assign a negative or positive meaning to anything we have a positive or negative emotion and feeling that comes with it so really becoming mindful and understanding what works for you what does not work for you Are you putting yourself in environments around EMFs, all the toxins from your computers and your phones? Are you having GMOs from your food? Are you having pesticides? 
chlorine in your water, fluoride in your toothpaste, pollutants in the air. This is the decision. This is called waking up. It's not always easy because it takes responsibility. And so today, the challenge of the day is to align with Mother Nature. The universal law today is the law of mentalism. And this states that there is a divine source and intelligence inherent in all of life. It establishes and regulates the phenomenon of how elemental forms of matter relate. This law dictates the chemistry, biology, and science of the mechanics of the world. This natural design brings structure and standardization to create in a context of organization. This is a mental universe and it is a law of cause and effect. And so again, the challenge today and the daily practice is to align with Mother Nature. I challenge you to go for a walk in the park. Watch the sunset or sunrise. Make a meal with whole food from Mother Nature. Swim in a lake or the ocean. Do whatever it takes to realign to the vibration of Mother Nature and your true source. And so on that note, I just know perfection, knowing that you have a choice to live a life of vitality or to live a life of disease. So have at it and may you live your truth. Thanks again for tuning in to Dr. Aaron and Soul Society podcast. I'd like to invite you to write a review on iTunes. Also, I have a free gift for you, a money meditation and worksheet, which you can find at soulciety.com. That's www.soulciety.com. Or 30 Guided Meditations at draaron.tv. That's www.drerin.tv. We also hold monthly Soul Society events that are all about transformation and building extraordinary community. You can also watch me live daily on goodmorninglalaland.com or Instagram at drerin.tv. Grab your free Manifestation Masterclass with the purchase of my international best-selling book, Awakening, a 40-day guide to unleashing your spiritual powers, life purpose, and manifesting your dreams at erinfallhaskell.com forward slash awakening book.